Grinders, welcome back. Poker in here, deep in the 30. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> I apologize. We are deep in the $33 bounty tournament. I just recorded part one, which was extremely fun. We're down to 75 players. There's the payout. We got a pay jump coming up in four people. Two thousand dollars for first, plus the bounties, which is going to be about at least at least two thousand, if not more. So it could be a four to five thousand dollar win. Uh, we're getting, you know, kind of short stack here. Twenty one bigs. No need to panic, but looking to double up for sure. Um, the bankroll doesn't have this cash in yet. We just min cash in our tournament, our eleven dollar four max that we won last time. Um, with this uh, payout here, we're going to be over 2300 and hopefully a lot more. Time will tell. I haven't had big hands. I had ace king. I haven't had uh, kings, queens, aces, that kind of stuff. Um, so hopefully that means we're due for that because it'd be the time to get it would be pretty nice. I had one of my funnest hands I had in a long time. I'm going to make a clip of it, but it's on part one. Uh, you'd have to see the whole scenario, uh, what we did here with the hand. Was it this? Ta oh, no, they switched this table the second it happened. Uh, it was fucking sweet. So proud of it. We got a $40 uh, bounty from uh, uh, just the craziest play. Crazy. That's all I can tell you. Go back to part one and find it. Because it was a fucking fun one. Easy fold here. Like I said, we're three from another twenty dollars or so, whatever the hell that is, seventeen. Look at these bounties, already two hundred dollars that guy's got. A whole bunch of people over a hundred. We got sixty ourselves. The final table is going to be juicy, man, for bo booties. It's actually a pretty pretty nitty table so far. Very small sample, but no one's getting out of line. So not that we want to start doing that because of the table. Um, but it's it's been really this is a pretty straightforward table here. It just shows you what's on the line too, right? Guys, I usually I, this is my you know in one year, man. We may play this tournament two or three times. It's a high buy-in for us. Um, you know, I took a chance tonight. Um, I explained in the first video, you know, proper bankroll management. You should have about a hundred buy-ins for tournaments. So I need thirty-three hundred dollars in this. Uh, in this uh, account to be playing this on the regular. Um, now you can do average buy-ins. What some people do is you do like a hundred, hundred. Uh, we're gonna raise this. Like borderline could just jam it here. Nineteen bigs. Fuck. Course got to be against the nittiest player. He's under the gun too. For a late position, I'd be jamming him, but that's fucking horrible there. Um, your average buy-in should be about 100 buy-ins. So what? Let's just say I wanted to take a shot at 33. My average buy-in was uh, I don't know, call it 15 dollars. My average buy-in, but I want to take a shot. What you can do is like your next. I don't know, if you do 10 tournaments in a day, have your five other ones, like, uh, f sorry, your nine other ones could be like $5 buy-ins, right? So you're way below your average for your other ones, and then you're, you could take one shot at a big buy-in. So your average buy-ins for the day would, uh, oh, fuck. How about I getting proper pot odds? I'm not even going to defend this. Um, anyways, there's ways, there's ways to get creative to take, to, to, to take shots. <sighs> And some people, all depends on your bank or right? You don't have to use a hundred buy-ins. Um, if you have a job and you don't mind depositing, and then take shots, right? If you never want to deposit ever again, then be even more conservative. Do two or three hundred dollar buy-ins, and uh, you know, drop down in stakes and protect that bankroll. It all, it all depends your goals, right? It'll take you a long time to build it up if you're that conservative, uh, unless you can think some stuff. But uh, 
everyone has their own theory on that. Jamie Staples just put out a great video on YouTube. Uh, YouTube Jamie Staples, uh, he's po poker stars. He just did a, a bankroll video based on. It really is an individual. It's, there's not a standard what you should use. It's uh, all based on this. So 16 bigs, guys. I'm supposed to shove in this spot. I'm supposed to shove if it gets to me. Fuck me. I can't shove over that though. We're getting some shitty situations here. Did we get that? What was the next page on? Was it 71? Yeah, two more people. Yeah, this is my son, NY General. I came to kill it with my boy Funk Flex on Hot 90s. I got here, Flex. Ace 10, guys. We guess to us, we are going to jam. Oh, man. Right in the bubble, too. Real niggas got the ball now. Uh huh. And what was good. Real niggas, what up? You know what? Do I just do this and encourage encourage this guy to jam? I'm calling that. I'm calling his jam. We doing this for 30 bucks? 10 big blinds? Let's fucking do it. Oh. Maybe that's why you just jam. I'm calling his jam. He isolates me. I gotta call this, guys. I put myself in this spot. I just, I'm trying to tank if I can ladder in. I'm calling. We have 12 seconds here. We're, we're, we're one on the bubble for 20 bucks, so I have to do this. I'm calling. He's supposed to put pressure on us here. With the booties and everything, way too strong to fold here. Alright guys, hopefully he's making a move here. 6-5, wow, better hold. Come on, Jack. There we go, he made a move. We're back, baby. That's why, if I would have jammed free flop, he wouldn't have done that. How about the balls on this guy? Ooh. Guys, we have a stack. How about the fucking balls on him? He knows this guy is probably going to call if I don't. Has a chance to double up. Oh my god, if we would have lost like that when we take a shot in our bankroll, if we would have lost in that hand, that's how people get shot in life. I'd have to look up his IP address, I'd have to tie him up, and I'd have to shoot him. That's what would have had to happen. He's a fox, man. You gotta go to those... Alright, maybe I wouldn't have went that far. I tucked in my ass. By the time I got there, I, I wouldn't even re remember why I went all the way over there. Okay, we're still in that one bubble. How about the fucking hand on this? I can't believe he just jammed it. I guess if we were deeper, he wouldn't have to risk that many. He's probably thinking I'm an idiot for not jamming there, maybe. I can't believe he fucking did that. So I don't think he does that without a bounty tournament. I think he was thinking that he could isolate this for $30. He thinks I'm folding. Chance he takes it all down. And if this guy calls, he's not in a horrible spot. Oh, could be a late one tonight, guys, but hopefully it's worth it. Hopefully it's worth it. <laughs> Look at the chip leader chip graph. Holy shit. My man's going to town. Alright, guys. Fold your last 425. <laughs> He's trying to ladder. Oh, he did ladder. He, he might be just not knowing that 71 gets paid that. You already laddered, sir. You can call. 
Save your time, babe. Case you double up. You laddered, son. Call three. He's got 35 seconds. You're laddering. You already did it. The $60 is there. He doesn't know how it works. You should probably just leave him a fucking rookie just off this. Alright, he's gonna wait till he's got about three seconds. He's gonna call. Ace Queen King Jack. There's the king. Is the Jack coming? Ooh, he is out. That's a bad way to lose this deep in the tournament. Now, let's see why this guy did that. How low was he? Was it 10 big blinds? I don't remember. 1800. Oh, yeah. So that's why he did it. But I'm curious why this guy was so high there. Three. Yeah, yeah. So that makes sense. Standard open. That guy's too low in a bounty. Standard play. Standard play. 69. What's the next pay jump? 44. Then we have 77 locked up. Plus our $60 in booties. Feels nice, man, when you take a shot in your bankroll and, and, it, and it pays off for you. Especially on a small downswing, you know. From our last win, we got the bankroll up to like 2400 and like maybe 65 70 was our bankroll peak. Maybe it was right around there. Um, and then uh, we took a couple buy-ins and tournaments we lost and then we lost our $15 spin and goes we lost 240 bucks uh in $15 spin and goes from uh let's just say a lot of fucking bullshit but uh took a shot and it doesn't take long to add up uh doesn't take long to add up Okay, I gotta pay a lot more attention here so I can read on these guys here. This guy got a little out of line there. Got a little out of line there. Under the gun raise, Queen Knight suited, definitely would. 100%. He's changing his bet sizing though. So, does he see that that board with the big and small blind of the two? No. Oh, so this makes sense. So he just called it. And this guy checked it, he, and his only chance of winning it. Because he's going to check a lot of aces here. He, he checked it knowing he could stab at it. But this guy has no twos in his range. This guy's got a lot of twos in his range. He could even just jam him here. Oh, man, that was a nice play. But he is a tight ass. He is a tight ass. I like that check, though. I like that check a lot. That was a really... I would never check that there. I'd be going to value town. Well, no, it makes sense if ace, king, ace, queen checks that because the board doubled up. Ace from to even check it twice, to be honest. Yeah, you know why? He's just a solid player. Just a solid player. King Seven. Now he's getting paid. This guy's get Action Jackson over here. He's going to town. He took out Ace Queen now. I he's getting all the big hands here. Let's see if he played it proper. These guys are also good too, guys. Right? Oh, that sucks. Eleven big blinds in front of a razor here. Ace Five against an aggressive guy, but he plays a lot of games. Look at this. Uh, let's see what his con range is here. I would love it, but this guy's really tight, so what's he jamming 20, 11 big blinds with, right? King 10, so we would have got crushed here. Good fold by us. Some of you guys might have been saying, call, $47. Well, we can't when there's someone behind us. That's why you can't, right? Okay, let's go back and try to learn. What I was going to say is, when I'm watching these guys more than my other tournaments, a lot of these players are better than me, right? A, I want to learn how they play, but I want to learn how to play poker in general, right? 
So this guy raised preflop, he's just defending. All sand, standard poker here. Probably goes check check, I imagine. Yeah, check check. No, the ace traps him in. Does he check it though? Probably not. Wow, he did check it. Oh, and he min rate. No, 24. Wow, and he still raised there. With that shit kicker, you min raise or vet raise so low? And you call what you call with. Ace Queen, yeah. Ace Queen, Ace Jack, probably the only two hands you can call with. Uh, ace Kings. Anything lower than a nine would be your kicker if you had an ace. This guy's gonna be. This guy's solid. He's actually getting one of these. I sit in the original lyrical pivotal spot, even though I change with the time like digital clocks. Either going straight for the kill, gun slinging, or I'm going straight up Jada and Will. I come swinging, I write for Big and Tupac. I'm rolling like the prices on the coupe drop. I feel like the snipers on the rooftop. I'm sitting though I'm feeling like a flu shot. I shit on every artist. On the hey, hey, 17 megs. We shouldn't get rejammed here, and this does really well. So we're gonna call here. Oh. He's gonna bet we can't do nothing. This is when I hate when the board doubles up. Problem is we got a lot of tens in our range. This guy's been so tight though. Do I ever get out of line here and just fucking we call? I think I gotta call it here. I'm actually gonna try this. He's gonna go check on so many turns. I can steal it on almost every turn. Oh. Fuck, that's a horrible card, guys. You know how hard it is for us to have a ten now? It's impossible. <laughs> His aces are gonna call us now. That is that is a horrible card, man. We have five though. So you get an ace to lay down here. Can you imagine I just jam him here? Fuck me, man. That was a bad turn card to do a play that we're trying to steal the pot. Don't gotta get committed to it just because we called though, right? This is interesting. Yeah, so ace ten I can't. It's always under the gun that's fucking us, man. There we go. You're gonna see ace ten was getting crushed. Oh, you're not gonna see it. This guy would already re-raise if he was strong. I don't think he's squeezing. Could be though. But that's powerful, man. Against two people under the gun, I think this is a snap fold. I like his stack size too. It's fucking perfect. Could actually go maybe a tad higher. Yeah, you know what? It's actually not perfect. 416. Actually, he should have probably went like 20. Wow, he called too. Ace 10. We got the clubs. Ace King 3 bets that big. Kings Aces. We have an ace for a blocker. Likely Kings Queens. 17,000 is a bet here. Watch this. 17. 17, 5, 5, 5. 15, 5, 8. So just off this bet sizing, guys, and what he's doing here, I'm going to label that. He knows what he's doing. This guy's doing a squeeze play, man. I'd be fucking be my hero in that spot. Man, we haven't had kings, aces, queens. I don't think we've had jacks this whole tournament. No big pocket pair. We've only had ace king. We're down to 55. 11 more. To 77. Uh, we've missed a couple big flush draws in this tournament to be getting paid. Everybody coming with a hit record, big record. This gonna play in the club, radio, chick record. Either that or they come with a disc record. I come from where you don't disrespect none of your successors. I don't fuck hoes that I can't leave in less than six seconds. Who the best is a horrible rhetorical sick question. You guessed it, I'm throwing bullets at you, but you ain't about to go for long. I put a full Yeah, we're getting shit hands here. 
Might as well get ready for your tune. You play me, tell your wife you're gonna be solo soon, like Sway Lee. Quarter peel, recouping the deal, worth the quarter meal. All I'm trying to We have the nut flush draw blocker. Everybody do it for the accolades, I'm tired of them. I ain't cared about Grammy since J Boy caught at them. Spent my first advance. Alright guys, we've been bitching about it. So the proper play here, I think, is just a jam to disguise it, but 20 bigs, though, I'm definitely not jamming kings and aces, but I'm saying, like, I would jam my pocket eights, eight, eights, nines, you know, 20 bigs, tens, so do they call wider by just jamming because $37, but I need action, right? I need action. This guy's behind us. He could put pressure on us. We're right at 17 big blinds, guys. I jam. We're right at that bubble that I could maybe disguise. This guy's a good player. He could jam us here. But it's the thing, if I pocket eights, uh, I don't know. You don't know what the best play is here. Like, I know it's totally fine to jam here. Like, totally fine. But there's a good chance I'm just stealing this, right? Wow, do I check this here? No. Shouldn't have too many two pairs. He called the raise. All right, we got some chips. We bitched about not getting a hand. Made a little bit. Ooh, 24 bigs is like borderline fold this hand. Fuck me. Yeah, I'm folding now. Folding now. If it would have got to us, we would have had to raise because it's suited right at the bottom of range in that spot with 24 bigs in this format. Like I'd raise ace five suited, but I wouldn't raise like ace nine, ace ace yeah, not even ace ten, maybe ace ten, ace nine, ace eight, ace seven, ace six, all folds. Mm, that's hard. He's leaning out into that. A lot of tens. You could just even if you have aces here, if he bumps you twenty two. Are you happy? You're not happy. That's a bad lead out. This board's so wet. All your draws are supposed to raise on this board. I would never lead out on that board ever. Check now. He's gonna check. The guy's gonna bet and steal the pot. Check. Check. Show the checks. Check. It's gonna go check, bet, fold. Check that fold. Check that fold. All right. I'm all lies. Could be a huge raise here. All in. Is this a jam? Get your jams out. Peanut butter and jam. Eight nine got there. Ten's been there the whole time. Hearts missed. His pocket ace is happy with this. This guy could have the heart draw himself, Mr. O Canada. Here's the jam. He didn't snap call, so he doesn't have a ten. Sevens, he flopped it. Look at that. Look, that's what that's why you don't lead on that board. So we have. I'm gonna leave him just aggressive, but it's more of a rookie. He's down to eight big binds, guys. How about the dream flop by this person? Played it like a champ. It's not too hard to play. Why would you bet this board? If he bets it, it goes check, check. Then you caught a queen. You're probably getting hurt anyways by check, check there, but he'd still be on it. You're the one who jammed, too. You could have checked called. You never. So why would you jam here, guys? What hands call you that you beat? You, you lose that. If he missed the hearts, okay, then he can't call you. A seven's not gonna call you. A queen shouldn't be there. He didn't float. So like you, you check call. This 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 is a horrible player. Not a good player. He did so many things wrong there. If the guy missed, okay. If you want to go all in, check it and call an all in. Because if the guy misses hearts, he can go all in. You're giving him a chance to bluff it. By you going all in, he can't call you this bluff. Like this is such a bad play.
Okay, just adjusting my notes, guys. We're down to 51 players. We're 32, 24 bigs. Let's make this happen, man. Let this be the one that we run super hot with. Let's get all the good hands, all the booties. You know, I don't even care about the good hands. Let's just win all our flips. Let's win all our all-ins. It's not much to ask for. We've probably got about 15 more to go to win this tournament. Let's win them all. It's not much to ask for. This is our one time. Guys, the heads up match, I'd probably have to make a deal. Because you can't make a deal for the booties. It's a thousand dollar difference. Right? So you can already start planning for the future. If you're heads up, it's a thousand dollars plus two grand or so in bounties. So I would chop this. Chop that in half if you're close to chips and then play for the bounties. That's what I would do. You're already playing for like $2,000, right? You don't need to be playing for anything fucking more than that. Now, if I have a shark scope so on, they're like down 100 grand, maybe I change my mind. Okay, we are going to defend against an aggressive player, 4 7 suited with all these bounties. Never mind, there goes all those thoughts. This guy here has been the timing of his fucking hands. He's a good player. Um, his timings of his hands have just been shit for us. A good aggro doesn't get there, it overcrowds in a flush draw and he's out of the tournament. I'm actually really happy, man. That guy was causing us problems. Guys, we're 22 bigs. Someone raise this lane position. Look at this, 15. You go 15, call, and we have to jam. We're probably jamming no matter what here. This could be it, guys. Yeah, I have to jam in this spot. I have fold equity. Right, they're going to chase me a little wider here. Uh, if he calls, no matter what, I'm all in. I have to go all in no matter what. Okay, guys, with that there, I'll, he's probably going to call now. Um, we got the next pay jump. Oh, we, oh, there's another one in three spots. We're going all in here, though. Here we go, guys. Get your diamonds out. I want a fold. I don't know if it's going to happen now with all the bounties here. Let's get a fold here. Fold. He's tight. Let's go one-on-one -on -one with him. You fold. Yes. Jack ball. Jack ball. Jack. 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 Okay, we're still in the tournament. Six weeks lightnings woke up with a hand. Could have been a lot worse, guys. Could have been a lot worse. We're at the bottom, but uh, we still have a hope. Sucks six big blinds woke up with the ace king in that fucking spot, but not much I can do with that. Oh, that's the other that's the other spot we were waiting for. The 44, yeah. Yeah, sorry. I was all middle of the hand, not understand what's going on. Or one off from the next pay jump. This limpin's very strange here. That's a very strange limpin. I labeled this guy a good player, but could just be really more on the tight side. Yeah, I should probably label him more tight than than good. That's probably Check it out. Yeah. Check it out. 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 Check it out.
We need a hand, guys. 13 bigs in the big one. We also need a ladder up. Let's get our aces that we've been waiting for. One double up, though. We're back in it. One double up, we're back in it. No need to panic. It's crazy how much difference it feels. Uh, more more uh, nerves on the final table, but uh, I'm not nervous right now in the sense of like when you're when you have a bankroll, like you're not you know if this was my last you know hundred dollars, you're you're shitting your pants, right? But it would suck to lose in this spot, but like I don't have the nerves, right? I'm t if we were on the final table with like five left, when you're staring at like five grand for first, there'd be a lot. Of, even if I'm in the final table in general, I'd be a little nervous, right? Just knowing how close you, close you are to we've won a lot of final tables right so you just think if you run hot on the bigger ones that's all it takes when i say run hot i just even mean like your hands holding up uh getting dealt some good hands that you can fucking actually do something nine five is our fold how long are we stuck at 45 players like for real everyone wants that next jump that bad it's 17 bucks 14,000, some low stacks here. Eight big blinds from a tight player who's waited four to three hands to do this. I played him with ace eight suit is the proper shove and the proper call, and he is out. So we get our ladder up. Sucks. Hopefully that doesn't happen to us. There's our ladder though. GG to that guy. So now we have seventy-seven dollars locked up, guys. Plus our sixty dollars. Oh my god, I've been wanting to play a tournament so bad. It's starting right now. Takes up too much. The th Kevin Martin just won this tournament. Is he in it? He's probably in it for sure. Let's go. He's not in it yet. He won this for 1500 the other day. Oh, it's running for 18 minutes. I'd be borderline have to get it. Oh, blinds already won. I'd have to get in like now. It's $33 heads up tournament. We're a beast at this, but... Yeah, we don't have the bankroll to be risking this. Cause I, I wanna. How many bullets to get? Just a one bullet? Any other bullets? Uh, fifteen dollars, thirty. Oh man, if we take out two people. It's paid for. Fuck. Mm, it's not even deep, man. This is too important to us, though. If we final table, I did not want to be playing a heads up tournament. Takes up all our brain power. Already got a plan. Oh man. <sighs> Am I doing it right here, guys? I don't think so. 12 bigs. Not, not in front of that. That made that real easy. Thank God. Thank God that made that easy. <laughs> I think that's a shove in that spot. Tagging that to know if I should shove in that spot 12 big blinds. Uh, I think it's a shove. Like I've been using a, a shove push uh, app a little bit on my phone. Uh, it's a shove there, especially if I looked. Okay. Here it is, guys, right here. So I have to shove with pocket jacks because I'd also do this with my eights, my sevens. Uh, you know, I can't limp and let anyone see a flop, so it's just an all in hand, right? I'm under the gun, should get some respect, but I have $37, right? A lot of aces are going to call us. This guy's 140,000 chips. Hopefully, he calls us really wide. Oh, that's too bad. We didn't get action. I showed a jack. I didn't mean to show a jack. That's too bad, but we did win some chips, so better than being out of the tournament. Yeah, the mic, the mic, one of my 
Uh, How about this? I can't even defend. If we get two more callers, I would, but even if he calls, I can't. Forty-two by guys. Forty-two left. Forty-one people stand in front of all the cheddar. How about we haven't been able to steal any blinds, man? Like legit any blinds. This whole fucking tournament playing so soft, but it's literally just sometimes the way it goes. And anytime I get a marginal hand that I should be raising, someone raises ahead of me that just squashes it. Sometimes it's just the way the cookie crumbles. Attempt to steal. I've done five of twelve times. That's on this table, five of twelve. Or no, yeah, five, on this table, five of twelve. Oh no, why is it saying that? Attempt to steal. Oh, I haven't had that many chances, I guess. Yeah, I'm not getting any chances. So sometimes, guys, in some terms, I jam like here, but not in a bounty tournament. They're too incentivized to call us. Like if everyone folded here, I could try to steal blinds and annies. But in a bounty tournament, I actually tighten up, just knowing because my bounty's so big. Um, I don't want them just to call me super wide, right? Forty one, next page jump, twenty six. Let's get our guys, we double up once, man, and then we fucking in the battle, then we win some chips. That's the plan. We're already planning this final table. What color do we want to use for the final table? That's what we want to think. What's going to be our final table color? Let's decide it right here and stick to it. Should we get a little pre, pre, you know, I like this one. Uh, I think it's going to be the final table hype. It's going to be the final table. Get ready for it. Mark it. We're coming back to that. Value town. That's the blinds should be in this range here, and it didn't work out for him. Did he call pocket queens? Yep. That's very scary. He, if he's gonna do that, he's going to go a lot harder. Okay, 13 bigs, guys. Fuck. Oh, he did it again. Does it again. I can't do that with a the razor there, guys. Well, I guess maybe I could. For... Now, right there, if I have eights, I'm doing that. I'm going all in. But not with fours. I should double check this. One of these days, I'm going to get fucking coached or something in review. I just want someone just literally... I wouldn't want any other coach and just put my reviewed hands. If someone just told me the perfect way to play all my reviewed hands, I would increase my skill by like probably 25% off one session. Okay, this is getting very close to be shoving here. On a chart, this is a shove. I know this is a shove. But I'm a pussy. That is a shove though. King 9, short table. That is a shove. But it's like literally the bottom of my shove. King 8, I don't. It's like King 9 is like literally the cusp. Keep saying that, but it is the bottom of my range, but it should be in my range, I think. Especially if the big blind, uh, like he is, he's a tight player. Look like I woke up the hand there. Ah, he's six, guys. We got the big blind covered here. Don't want to blind out, guys. We're 11 bigs. So even this, so let's say he wants to chase me, like a seven. 
He can't with people behind him, right? Oh, here we go. So I'm crushed here. Hopefully King Queen is what we're hoping. You fold. I don't want two people. Okay, guys, let's get lucky here. Get your sixes out. A six. Wow. Six ball. Six. 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 Six four. We're out of the tournament. Nice call. All right, guys, we went for it. We tried. You can tell me what you think about the shove, but we had 11 big blinds. That is a shove. I could put it in a chart, but I'm telling you it's a shove. Um, so disappointing the results, but also happy. I should that's the thing. I shouldn't say disappointed, I guess. Uh, the bankroll is at 23. Well, you guys see it. 23.36. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.